So, welcome back, guys. Uh, we are on Preposit, sorry, 17. So, actually, we're just we're just going to come into the back of Rompo Market down here. This is one of these handy little soys. Avoids the traffic. Uh, Time-wise, uh, must be getting on for about eight, eight in the morning. So my last video I was a little bit disgruntled with the Thai government and the handling of um, bus businesses and uh, you know they're trying to encourage tourists to come back to Patea or to Thailand but then they've got this double standard system set up with regards to uh, alcohol so if you want to come to Patea have a have a meal with nothing to drink with it, no glass of wine, no bottle of beer. Now's the time to come. Uh, we're just coming into Christmas party season. And there's a, there's a, lot, a lot of really good Christmas parties put together by Rotary Clubs and International Ladies Clubs, uh, the Masonic Lodges. They all put on fantastic uh, parties this time of year excellent music good food normally normally it's always in a like a four or five star hotel um, and they've all got the same problem this year we don't know if we're able to have alcohol at the party um, I'm, and I'm not a bit I'm definitely not a big drinker for sure but there's no way I want to sit with a hundred people in a room that can hold four or five hundred people and and they're all like well it's like a Sunday school meeting if you know what I mean so until there's some clarity on that I won't book uh, there's the, the tickets for these events they're normally about 40 pound a head so by the time you know I normally book a table a, 10 or and this year it looked like it was going to be 12 but not this time anyway that was Rumpo Market <coughs> that we just came through let this lady through on her motorbike sorry my camera was set too high there for and now it's set to go. So that's us coming into Soy 7, uh, which takes us down to John Tien Beach. Yeah, so the, the Thai government's latest brainwave is basically a reporter criminal. If you, uh, if you see someone, it, it, the, the advertisements I saw said, if you see someone on a motorbike, so, I don't know, do they not want cars? I mean, the people go through red lights here, like, well, it's just, it's just the norm. You've, you've really got to be careful at traffic lights. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, they, what they've said is, you can make up to 20,000 baht, we'll, we'll call that 500 pounds, just by reporting people for uh, driving infringements. So, this is early in the morning today. Let's see how many we see just in John TM Beach and we'll, we'll see how much money you can make. So here's the first one, motorbike coming towards me, two people on it, wearing the mask. Neither of them got helmets. That's two tickets. One for the driver, one for the passenger. And there we are on the John Tien Beach. Uh, 
Uh, he's wearing a helmet. So here we go. A motorbike with sidecar, towing, two jet skis and two... Uh, two rubber rafts. The truth of the matter is these uh, motorbikes and sidecars, they're all illegal. So you, you could you could report every single one of them for breaking the law, but they don't do anything. There's another one without a helmet. The one that went past is with no helmet. The one that makes me laugh the most is when the police are on their motorbikes riding up and down the, the pavement on the beach looking for people that are drinking. And you couldn't make it up, you know. There's another two without helmets. So you can see, eight o'clock in the morning, we've probably got six tickets already. We'll be millionaires by the end of the night. Uh, another no helmet. The, the no helmet thing, it, uh, at the end of the day, they don't hurt anyone except themselves. Uh, only thing I would say is if, if they have a claim against you for causing an accident, any head injury should be excluded because safety wasn't important to them. So why should you be held liable for them not wearing a helmet? Uh, that's my thought on it anyway. It's, you know, up to you. I understand it's hot here. I'm on my bike. Always wear my helmet. Always. It's, uh, it's too easy for something to happen here. Now she was pretty well let her off for not wearing a helmet. My missus used to get stopped by the police. And all they would ask her was, give me your phone number and I'll let you off. So if you ever had a phone call from the police asking you for a date, just let it be known it was my missus that probably gave them a wrong number. A uh, really nice time to come out. Not too hot. Uh, we had the music festival here on uh, Friday and Saturday last week. So it was uh, really busy here. They closed all the roads. I think my last video I jumped in, I did tell you a joke about the dancing duck on the bucket. So let's see if we can uh, keep it going. I'm terrible at jokes, by the way. So. The basis of them is quite good, but my delivery is shocking. <clears throat> so anyway, chap walks into a bar and he sat speaking to the barman and he's got a little uh, suitcase by, by his side and he, he pulls out the suitcase, puts it on the bar and from the suitcase he takes out this little guy about a foot high <clears throat> a little baby grand piano sets it on the bar and, and the guy, the, the little guy starts playing piano. He really is fantastic. Plays. Huh? The car beside me has just decided to pull out. No indicators or anything. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so anyway, the, guy, the little foot, foot high guys playing the, playing the piano, fantastic. The barman says, that's incredible. I've never seen anything like that in my life. He says, where did you buy him? He says, no, he says, I, I found a bottle on the beach and 
when I opened the bottle, out popped a genie. He says, really? Yeah. He says, uh, the genie says, I'll give you one wish. He says, you're joking. He says, yeah. He says, I'll, he give me my one wish. He says, what did you do with the genie? He says, I've still got it. He says, I've used my wish. He says, but you can have one if you want. He says, oh yeah, so from the same suitcase, he pulls out the bottle, the barman rubs it. I don't know, no helmet. And he says, he says, uh, rubs the bottle and he says, I wish I had a million bucks. He waits a minute. And then uh, he hears this calamity outside puts his head out the door and there is a huge, huge amount of ducks flying over the bar and they're all coming, they're all coming down. He says, what the heck? He says, is your genie a bit deaf? He says, asked him for a million bucks. And the customer said, do you really think I asked for a 12 inch pianist? Anyway. You can even tell it to your kids, they won't understand it. <clears throat> so actually, you've had both my, both my duck jokes. There's all the Science Patea Music Festival. Free concert. So it, it does bring in uh, some money to the town, I'm sure, and it helps. It helps a lot of the small, very small businesses. Um, the problem we've actually got now is that people from Pat here are now going to Bangkok because you can have a drink in Bangkok legally. Yeah, so how far is it? 100, 150 kilometres away. It takes you about an hour and a half to get to Bangkok. And you, I think you can drink till 10 o'clock at night. I mean, it's still stupid. But it'll be, it'll be the same as here. You know, they flout, they flout any of the laws. So if it says 10 o'clock, you can call that midnight or 1 o'clock. And if, as long as they're not playing loud music, it'll probably go on till 3 o'clock. We normally head to Bangkok when it's Songkran. Songkran in Thailand, it actually is staggered. But each area celebrates it on a slightly different day. So we always try and get out of Pattaya for April the 19th, which is Pattaya's official Songkran day. And uh, head to Bangkok because Songkran's finished there. Um, we had a memory came up this time last year we were through in Bangkok at the Okura Prestige which was one of the nicest hotels I've ever stayed in um, I'm celebrating a fairly big birthday this year the big 60 so I was hoping just to go through there for a couple of nights and stay at the same place I'm just not sure um, on the restrictions, even in Bangkok, you know, if, if we'd have this the same sort of experience that we normally have, I'll maybe just leave it and do things a little bit later. So I'll be back here in 20 minutes with my little dog. Uh, his name's Friday. 
and he loves going for a walk. He woke me this morning about 6.30. But if I take him then, he just gets earlier and earlier, you know, he'll, he'll start waking me up, so I just give him a bit of tough love and said, no, after I've been for the bike. So. go home and pick him up and take him down. Um, used to be here in the morning. It was full of like supermodels, just all the girls from the go-go bars and the bars, just trying to keep, you know, keep a level of exercise. Because at that time, there we go, at that time the, um, the gyms were closed and getting any sort of exercise was, was pretty difficult. So they used to come down here and walk, and jog. Buddy crap. Uh, the girls there, they know me because I walk the dog past every day and they're pretty much exercising every morning. So that's us now at Dong Tan Beach. There's barely a wave on the ocean today. Wonder if I can get you a nice view. Okay, I'll turn you off. I'll cycle along here a little bit and then uh, see if we get you a good view to finish the video off, okay? All right, guys, see you in a minute. Okay. So, uh, where are we? We're just about at the Rabbit Resort. Let you have a look at the beach here, just, just to finish up the video. It's beautiful having this right on your doorstep. That's looking down to Bang Surrey, a little bit hazy in the distance. They've got all these new lifeguard stations. Uh, you see just over over there, Colarn. Again, a little bit hazy, <clears throat> but it's beautiful having this right at where you live. You know, when you walk down here every day. And although we're in kind of rainy season, it never lasts long. Now, where's my bike? I'm back here somewhere. There we are. As you can see, I always have front and rear lights, they're both on. You might not see them very clear in the sun. <clears throat> and you can tell by my shadow I wear my helmet, so. Okay, there we go. Another beautiful day in sunny Thailand. I hope you have a lovely day, guys, and uh, I'll see you in my next ride around town. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.